Um, a large part of learning how to pass the NCLEX and feeling confident in sitting for the NCLEX is lots of practice with NCLEX style questions and learning how to break these questions down, kind of pick out the keywords from the questions and using those keywords and the knowledge that you have about them to either rule in or rule out your multiple choice options. So one thing that I'm going to do for you guys is every day I'm going to post a video that reviews an NCLEX style question. So I will go through the question with you every day, help to pick out the keywords, we'll go through the answer options, and together we'll come to the right answer. And hopefully with a lot of practice, I know that you will be better prepared for the NCLEX. So our question for today, the nurse administered IV BMEX to a patient being treated for heart failure. Which outcome indicates that the medication has achieved the expected effect? So before we even look at any of the answer options, I want us to go through and pick out the keywords in this question. So when I'm looking at this question, I see three keywords. IV Bumex, heart failure, and expected effect. So we know that Bumex is a diuretic that's going to be used to pull fluid off of the body. So it is used in things like congestive heart failure, high blood pressure, pulmonary edema, anytime there's a buildup of fluid on the body and we want to get extra fluid off. So when we're looking, we have a patient with heart failure giving them IV Bumex. We know that we want more urine output, right? Because we want we know the medication is supposed to pull off more fluid from the body. Okay, so we've kind of already brainstormed uh, what we think we may see in the options below. So when we move below, cough becomes productive of pink frothy sputum. Now when we're thinking of a productive cough, we're going to think there's a buildup of fluid on the lungs. So this would actually indicate a worsening pulmonary edema. So we know that Bumex is going to pull fluid off the body. A productive cough means that there's still fluid there. Okay, B, urine output increases from 10, in, 10 mLs an hour to 50 mLs an hour. This is probably going to be our answer, right? Because we expect an increase in urine output because we are pulling fluid off of the body with the diuretic. But let's move down. Let's read our other options to make sure. Okay. Cerium potassium level changes from 3.8 to 3.1. So with our loop diuretics, we know that we will have electrolyte imbalances, often depleted electrolytes because the medication is pulling so much urine off the body. So while the potassium will probably drop, think that that is a side effect of Bumex and not really the expected effect when we're thinking about a patient with heart failure. So we know that's true, but it's, it, it's, not, the, it's not what the question is asking. Okay, D... So the BNP increases from 200 to 262. Kind of like A, this would also indicate worsening of heart failure. So ideally, the BNP is less than 100. However, when we see a BNP increase, that means your heart failure is worsening. So after reviewing all of our questions, all of our answer options, we know that B is the correct one. So again, with A, that would mean a worsening of pulmonary edema. C is simply a side effect of the medication, the hypokalemia. D would be a worsening of heart failure. And we know that Bumex will improve heart failure by pulling fluid off of the body via an increase in urine output.